$149 per month total ownership, not the car payment, the entire cost, insurance, electricity, maintenance, everything. Tesla didn't just make the Model 2 affordable. They engineered it specifically for retirees, bigger displays, predictive maintenance, voice controls designed for Americans over 55 who are tired of touchscreen complexity. What's actually inside? Four technologies explain everything. One cuts production costs 32%. Another predicts $600 repairs weeks early. The third captures energy from potholes. Technology four will shock you. It's ride comfort innovation no $30,000 vehicle has ever offered. Let's break down how Tesla's achieving this. Here's why Detroit executives are privately panicking. For 117 years, every automaker has built cars the same way. Workers crawling into cramped spaces, welding pieces together one by one. Slow, expensive, remarkably inefficient. Tesla's unboxed manufacturing flips this completely. They build major sections separately, then snap them together like precision blocks. Industry analysis shows this eliminates approximately 400 parts. That's 400 fewer components that can break over the vehicle's lifetime. But here's the disruption. Traditional rear assemblies require welding 70 separate pieces. Tesla's Giga Casting 4.0 creates the entire rear as one solid aluminum piece in 90 seconds. Cost reduction, 28 to 32% compared to conventional manufacturing. Why haven't Ford and GM adopted this if it's revolutionary? They're locked into billion-dollar factory infrastructure designed for old processes. Retooling would require shutting down production for months, losing market share they can't afford. Tesla built this from scratch with zero legacy constraints. My analysis, this isn't just cheaper production, it's structural reliability. Your current vehicle has thousands of welds, each a potential failure point. Fewer parts means the Model 2 could outlast traditional vehicles by three to five years through reduced mechanical complexity alone. One more advantage Detroit can't replicate, 95% regional production. Every component manufactured within 500 miles of Austin. No Chinese tariffs, no shipping delays. Approximately 18% lower logistics costs. Tesla's production cost target, $15,500 to $16,000 per vehicle. GM's Chevy Bolt cost, $24,000. That's nearly $8,000 structural advantage before the first vehicle ships. Can GM compete with that gap? When was the last time your vehicle warned you about a problem before it became a $600 emergency? Never. Traditional cars wait until something fails, that check engine light appears, and you're stuck paying whatever the mechanic quotes. The Model 2's AI-powered predictive maintenance monitors 847 sensors continuously. It predicts component wear two to four weeks before replacement becomes necessary with high accuracy. Your brake pads hit 15% remaining. Instead of discovering this during emergency highway braking, the system alerts you three weeks early. You schedule service at your convenience, compare prices, maybe wait for discounts. That's the difference between $80 planned maintenance and $600 emergency repairs plus towing. The system detects battery cell imbalances early, preventing range degradation. It analyzes tire wear patterns indicating alignment issues before dangerous highway blowouts. Industry projection, $550 to $650 annual savings compared to reactive maintenance. Over 10 years, that's $5,500 to $6,500 staying in your retirement account. But here's the deeper implication everyone's missing. This shifts the power dynamic between owners and service providers. Right now, mechanics hold all information advantage. They run diagnostics, tell you what needs fixing. Zero verification ability on your end. With predictive maintenance, you arrive already knowing what needs attention. That eliminates unnecessary upselling and creates price transparency. Is this why independent shops quietly lobby against EV right to repair legislation? Every time you hit a pothole, your current vehicle wastes that kinetic energy as heat through shock absorbers. It just disappears. The Model 2's active energy harvesting suspension captures that energy and converts it to battery charge. Electromagnetic dampers function as both shock absorbers and generators. Road vibrations spin internal magnets, 
creating electrical current flowing back to the battery. Estimated recovery, 10 to 15 miles during typical daily driving. Over a year at 40 miles daily, that's 1,200 to 1,500 free miles annually. At current electricity rates, 60 to $75 you won't pay. But here's the twist most coverage ignores. This system provides 25% improved ride comfort compared to passive suspension. It adapts in real time, firm on smooth highways, softer on pothole damaged city streets. For Midwest or Northeast residents where freeze thaw cycles destroy roads every winter, this solves real daily frustrations. Now something unprecedented for any EV under $30,000. Serious towing capability. Optional tow package, $1,200 to $1,600, rated for 2,500 pounds. That enables towing camping trailers to national parks, boat trailers for lake trips, landscaping equipment. Range impact when towing? Only 8 to 12% reduction within rated capacity on level terrain. This directly addresses the common objection. Electric vehicles can't handle real work. My analysis. Tesla is systematically eliminating every excuse. Can't tow? Wrong. Uncomfortable ride? Wrong. Limited range? Energy harvesting adds meaningful miles. They're not just building affordable. They're building affordable that exceeds traditional vehicle utility. That's the competitive threat keeping legacy executives awake. Let's be brutally honest. Tesla overpromised and underdelivered on full self-driving for five consecutive years. That credibility damage was real, costing customer trust in billions in market value. What's different with Model 2? Standard FSD Hardware 6, 4 nanometer processor delivering 1,000 tops, 12 high-resolution cameras capturing 10K at 60 frames per second, Millimeter wave radar penetrating fog, rain, snow. But what does this deliver on a Tuesday grocery run? Augmented reality navigation projects arrows directly onto the windshield. Eyes stay focused on the road instead of glancing at screens and missing pedestrians. Collision prediction algorithms analyze traffic patterns, alerting drivers 0.6 to 0.7 seconds before potential accidents. Insurance Institute research shows that extra half-second represents the difference between safe braking and an $8,000 repair with injury risk. For retirees whose reaction times naturally slow, this isn't gimmick. It's legitimate safety preventing life-altering accidents. Critical honesty Tesla must communicate. This is level 2 autonomy, hands-on wheel, full attention required. Advanced driver assistance, not autonomous taxi service. Tesla's goal is level 3 by mid-2026. Based on historical timelines, I recommend serious skepticism. What testing data suggests? Drives more smoothly than many younger drivers in traffic. Handles lane changes more consistently. Maintains safer following distances. It won't drive itself while you nap. Still science fiction. But it reduces fatigue during 3-4 to four hour family road trips. Insurance companies are quietly testing 10-15% to 15 premium reductions for advanced driver assistance systems. The data shows measurably fewer accidents. If Model 2 qualifies, that's $80 to $120 annual savings. Tesla reportedly listened to feedback about touchscreen complexity, frustrating older drivers. Grok 2.0 voice assistant processes natural conversational language. Hey Tesla, I'm cold, automatically adjust temperature, activate seat heaters, warm steering wheel. Find nearest supercharger with restrooms and coffee. Understands you need amenities, not just charging. The 15.4-inch display features anti-glare coating, reducing sun reflections 45%. No more squinting driving west at sunset. Menu system redesigned based on driver behavior analysis. Frequently used features positioned for single-tap access. Not buried three menus deep. My honest assessment. This represents the most comprehensive rethinking of how Americans over 55 interact with vehicle technology. Simplified, intuitive, genuinely helpful. But will it work as advertised? Tesla's software promise track record is mixed. I'd reserve judgment until real customer reviews arrive late 2026. The Model 2 isn't just another electric vehicle. It's Tesla's complete strategic response to losing federal incentives. 
based on manufacturing costs, predictive maintenance savings, energy harvesting, and safety features, they might actually deliver the $149 monthly ownership promise. The question isn't whether this disrupts the market. The question is which legacy automaker collapses first when it launches. So here's the answer. Is $149 monthly ownership real engineering or fantasy? It's real. That's why legacy automakers are genuinely scared. Tesla engineered a vehicle costing less than your cable bill while matching traditional car utility. Manufacturing innovation saving $8,000 per unit. Predictive maintenance saving $650 yearly. Energy harvesting adding 1,500 free miles annually. This isn't just one vehicle. 2026 will reset the entire American transportation market. When a $12,749 EV with these capabilities hits driveways, every automaker charging $35,000 for basic sedans faces a reckoning they can't escape. And this is just Tesla's opening move post-subsidy. What happens when they apply these breakthroughs to trucks? Commercial fleets? Which legacy automaker faces the greatest risk? Comment GM, Ford, Toyota, or Honda. Do you believe the $149 monthly promise? Drop your honest take. This is Tesla Zone. We break down engineering reality behind headlines. Next up, Tesla PiPhone specs, FSD V15 versus Chinese systems, Model 2 versus BYD's competitor. The next 18 months determine the next decade of American transportation. You're watching it unfold real time.